polynomial characteristics. Here is an interesting question on number of turning points. Question is, a 16 degree polynomial has three even order zeros and four odd multiplicity zeros. How many turning points will this polynomial have? It's a multiple choice question. The cho choices are 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 or 15. You can pause the video and answer the question. Here is my suggestion. When we say a 16 degree polynomial, then the maximum number of turning points can be 15 and the minimum should be 1 since it's even degree so the polynomial has to turn. So the number is between 1 to 15 any odd number. That's kind of important to understand. Now in this particular case we are given a polynomial that has three even order zeros. Three even order zeros let's write down three even order zeros and we are given four odd multiplicity four with odd multiplicity also means order is one and the same thing zeros now we need to figure out how many turning points will there be well the formula for turning points can be written as let me write down the formula here number of turning points let's say t dot b turning points is equals to number of zeros minus 1 plus number of even zeros. So that is the formula which is what many students may not know right but that is the formula you can calculate from the formula itself. Number of zeros are 3 plus 4 which is 7 so we have 7 minus 1 plus even zeros are zeros with even order like 3. So we get 7 minus 1 plus 3 as our answer. 7 minus 1 is 6. 6 plus 3 is 9. So for this particular question the number of turning points should be 9. Well this is one way of solving it. Now let me show you another way of solving the same question. This time we are going to sketch. So what we'll do is we'll randomly take up zeros, three even order zeros. Let's say these are my three even order zeros, right? And then we have four odd order. So let's say these are my one, two, three, four odd order zeros. Degree is 16, we'll assume positive leading coefficient. So in that case, the graph should move from quadrant two to quadrant one, right? So that's the end behavior. Now since these are even order zeros, the graph is not going to cross at these stages. So it will kind of bounce back. So if you are coming from this side, it has to bounce back, right? So here we have kind of like this. Now these are odd, so it will cross the line. So it may cross the line in a way depending on the type of zeros, right? So let's, let's just cross and then finally like this. So that is going to be kind of characteristic approximately for the given function with the type of zeros we are given right so these are even right so we'll see that the graph will bounce back do not cross but it adds to additional turning points let's count the turning points now one two three four five six seven eight and nine do you see that so you can actually sketch and count the number of turning points you get the same answer, 9. Therefore, option D is just the right option. Right? I hope you understand the method. I'm Anil Kumar and I, you can subscribe to my videos to learn more about polynomials and its characteristics. Thank you and all the best.